For Uncharted 2, we had uh, a little bit more time, and so we could really, really attack the hardware this time around. We saw a huge target in uh, helping out the, the graphics chip by offloading some of the work to the SPUs. And uh, when we started doing that, we realized that the SPU is really, really good at doing this kind of work. We added more functionality to it so that it all could be done on the SPUs and really, really efficiently and with much higher quality than before. Our characters, uh, they typically have 80,000 uh, polygons in, in you know, one character, like the main character. In total, what, you, what we try to push through to, to, the, to the graphics chip is about 1.2 million uh, triangles that we try to, to, to draw every frame. We do a lot using the cell processor. We uh, make heavy use of uh, assembly programming, which is really nitty-gritty uh, programming. Uncharted has uh, animation blending uh, as a core feature of our technology, a core feature of, of how our characters move, and it's, it's incredibly unique to the way we're approaching the problem of producing a really high-quality animation. We can have animations that range anywhere from just a couple of animations to up to 20, 30 animations at one time affecting a character affecting them in various parts like hands, face, shoulders, back, and, and, and legs. You don't have to have an animator animate every single um, possible combination uh, of the player putting away his weapon while jumping or, or running and shooting or all these different things. Really, no animator can animate enough animations to produce the same look that we've been able to do by mixing and matching, by layering animations on top of each other, by blending between animations even on different layers. And that really gives the player uh, a lot more control over what he wants to do that's not limited by our animators. We added more functionality to it so that, uh, for instance, the camera mo uh, motion blur, um, it all could be done on the SPUs and really, really efficiently and with much higher quality than before. So we added lots of things uh, on top of it, including uh, bloom and uh, downsampling, the focal blur. And the interesting thing about the focal blur is that we are actually being very accurate so that when you, when you fight with a char character, we can focus on what's happening clo in close combat. Whereas when you aim at someone far away, we can focus on what's happening far away and things that are near blur out. So it really guides your eye, um, maybe in the same way that, that your eyes focus on something in the distance or close. You know, now that we don't have to do uh, the post effects using the graphics chip, that means that the graphics chip can do more, which means that it, we can render more polygons and have more interesting uh, background. So um, all in all, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge benefit for the graphics. <laughs> oh, crap. We really wanted to push the PS3, which we knew we could push even further uh, from what we had done with the first game. And we went from 150 objects for the first game. This game, we're capable of over 500 objects uh, in, in like just a couple of milliseconds. And that has allowed us to make the world come to life, to really feel real, feel like you're not in this like frozen wasteland, but really that you're in a building that's being destroyed, that you're in a war zone with everything going on around you, that things are more real than they ever have been before. And it shows, given the, uh, the SPUs and, and just the harnessing the power of the PS3, we can now take it so much further. And uh, Uncharted 2, we've really taken it the next step. Because our game is, is very much a action movie, right? So you would expect to have it look sort of like a, like a movie. It's still stylized, but movie-like. And so, so we made a filmic filter for the, the high dynamic range, so we could play much more with the, with the light values. It looks much more believable, and, uh, and also it 
sort of solves a lot of the shadowing problems that, that you sort of expect to see. So it, it really puts everything together in a sort of a cohesive way. Uh, hard to do, but the benefits are huge because you can make real magic happen. PlayStation.